Hello friends! Today I have a review for you of my overskirt pattern. It is the TV363 1887 Summer Overskirt. Looks like this. And I have just a quick review. The skirt was super easy to make. I have it displayed here over a brown skirt, the skirt that I will wear this with, just so you can see the contrast of it. Also a truly Victorian pattern, which I've also already reviewed. I will link that down below for you. This pattern was super easy. It has 13 steps, <laughs> 13, and actually not all of them are necessary. You can make this entire thing in one day if you pay attention to the fact that step number 10 is apply any desired trimmings or hem treatments at this time it will be di very difficult later and i do agree with that assessment it would probably be harder to put the trimming on afterwards i did not expect that and i wish i had known that i, I had my whole plan set out that i was going to do all of my clothes and then add all the trim at the end uh, and so what took me the longest part of this was definitely creating the trim that I was going to use, but if you're using easy trim or ribbon or something that's pre-made, this is going to go super fast. Like, I could have had this done in a day. So, um, it was not, however, done in a day. It took me quite some time because I made the trim. But, um, the skirt itself actually easily in one day, no problem. All of the instructions were super clear, except number 11. Cut one tape to the width of the bustle, so that's like the size of the bustle that's there. And sew tape ends to the inside of back a few inches below the side seams. So the thing you have to know is that the side seams uh, actually get pleated upwards. They actually don't say pleat up or down. I decided to pleat up, so that is something that you also probably need to decide for yourself, but you could do it either way. They don't specify. Uh, the side seam stops, but then the side of the trim keeps going. Uh, so you do have quite a bit of space there. So I took this to mean that I should put the tape two inches below where the side seam ended and where the side kept going. So that is my interpretation. But that particular instruction was not that clear to me and it took me quite a bit of time to like figure out what I wanted to do or what that meant to me or whatever. Other people might have different interpretations. I don't actually know what Truly Victorian has to say about it. I could probably email them and ask them and they would let me know if I did this correctly, but I will just ask them at Costume College. <laughs> uh, I think this skirt is very simple, very easy. A beginner can make this skirt no problem. The overskirt um, and the skirt that goes underneath it both are totally acceptable for beginners, especially if you're not gonna hand pleat all your trim. <laughs> But otherwise, the skirt went together super quickly, super easily, no trouble. Uh, one other thing that I would like to point out is that the closure for this skirt is actually in the front, and it does cross over quite a bit in the front, so like some of my trim won't be visible because they cross over. Uh, that is evident in the picture, but not quite as much as it is in the actual. This skirt is very easy, it's very light, it's uh, beautiful, it is uh, definitely period appropriate. I would highly recommend this pattern to anyone who wants to make an overskirt for the late 1880s. It worked out really well, especially if it fits your styling. There's probably ways to make the skirt separate more in the front. It already is pleated to some extent up here, so that helps pull it back. You could probably do some more trickery in the back with that to make it separate out more if that was to your taste. This skirt is like infinitely adjustable. Okay, and that completes my thoughts on the pattern itself. I think that the pattern is lovely, truly Victorian, knocks it out of the park every time. I've never had a problem with any of their patterns. They're a very reliable company in general, so I would highly recommend this pattern. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time with another vlog or another review. Have a great day, guys.